it will surprise you all to know that when we became curious about the news to provide us with laptops and we asked some of our national council members questions concerning the transactions in order to set to set ourselves on the right path and to get answers to questions bothering our minds they denied having knowledge about the said contract and agreement but surprisingly in the bogus press conference heard yesterday by the leadership of the three teacher unions it came to light the said decision was taken at the national council meeting so one who asks why the denials indeed there is no smoke without fire no proper information to members our leadership never informed the rank and file of of the association about any negotiation on these laptops they were having negotiation with government on our blank side the question is is this how we conduct business within our association definitely not but due to personal interest they decided to hide the whole day from us a clear sign of personal interest taking precedence it is very disturbing knowing that our pension money was withdrawn and given to the so-called company again out of greed and disrespect for members they did so without our consent which law permits them to act in such a dubious manner we call on our regional council members of NAT, who are part of national council to resign honorably of no. no, 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 no. the leaders at the district levels should be ready to face impeachment processes that will be soon employ to remove them from office boycott of upcoming national delegate conference we are using this medium to call on all delegates to boycott the upcoming delegate conference or injection place on it with immediate effect until all issues surrounding these fraudulent transactions are resolved. Teachers deserve better. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, we want to state that the deal is very fraudulent and that all deductions made should be refunded to us with immediate effect. We will not allow ourselves to be taken for granted by our union leaders and government. Sure. We are therefore proposing to government uh -huh. to start paying us the professional development allowance on a monthly basis yeah. beginning yeah. January 2022.